Today we're going to get started on some great recipes and of course showcasing today's products starting with Cypress Grove goat cheese. Uh, today we're going to be working with their Midnight Moon and their Midnight Moon uh, is an incredible cheese that's aged for six months or more. And next we're walking over to Rice Select. We have their Royal Blend with Red Quinoa. This is an incredible blend. Uh, next walking over to Mantova Olive Oil we have their Chili Spray Oil and their wonderful convenient spray can. And we can't forget Garofalo Pasta. Today we're going to be using their Angel Haircut. Something we're working with today uh, is called Paradise Fruit, their Orange Peel. This is going to give our tomatoes an extra added citrus taste in our meal. And walking over here to Anderson Cun Valley Wines, today we're using their 2010 Chardonnay, which is going to pair beautifully after the meal with these tomatoes. And of course, we can't forget for dessert, Cowtails by Goats. They have these wonderful products. Cowtails is obviously my favorite. And using our beef for today, we're using Dakota beef. Again, whenever you're choosing beef or thinking about eating beef, make sure it says Dakota Organic. Now we're walking over here to incredible uh, Sunset Grainy and Leaf here by Fresh Origins, uh, a company that makes delicious microgreens that can be mailed directly to your door. You know, doing a show on vegetables, uh, one vegetable that always comes to mind is tomatoes. Here are heirloom tomatoes. Uh, one thing I love about heirloom tomatoes are the color, the taste, and the texture. So we're going to take some capellini pasta and put it into our already salted boiling water. And we're just going to kind of let that come together a little bit because the, the starch for this ingredient uh, in this salad is sort of a, a, a warm capellini which will soak up the flavors of these onion and goat cheese that, that we're going to be doing today. So let's talk about uh, a little bit about the recipe that's going on here. Just give that a stir, make sure it doesn't stick. Now, what we're going to be doing is a caramelized and goat cheese timbal with tomatoes. And what we need to do is get the skin off of these tomatoes first uh, before we can go to the next level. Now, we're going to take the tomatoes and do what's, uh, do what's called the score. I've already scored that one. Let's, let's get this one. It's basically putting an X in one side, an X in the other side and the same on the other as well. You don't want to go too deep and you don't want to go too long around the tomato. Let me give you another one here. And what you're doing with scoring the tomatoes is you're preparing for the skin to lift during the boiling water phase and the process. And that'll really help us get to the next level here of taking the skin off these tomatoes. Uh, then once we get the skin off tomatoes, I'll show you what you do at this point. I'm going to put our bowl here, grab our other bowl. Just get some cold water. You can put some ice in there if you want. And this is going to just shock our tomatoes, which will make it easier to peel the, the skin off. And if you look closely here, uh, you can start to see some of the skin coming out. We're not, we're not quite there yet. Right now, our capellini pasta is done. It takes about a four-minute cook time. You never want to overcook capellini pasta or any other pasta, for that matter. What we are going to do is take a little bit of oil and just spray a little bit in our pasta. Next, what we're going to do is start to take our onions. Now... Today I've used a mixture of onions, red and white actually work really good. This is called a Mexican sweet onion. It's got a very sweet texture. You could have used shallots if you'd like. Uh, we're not really going to go there today with the shallots, although you could have, but today is not going to be a day for that. So what we want to do is just peel our onions, and what, we, what we're going to do is julienne them, and julienne them just means that basically a thin slice and the combination of the white onion and the red onion are really going to do well. And there is no cheese that matches up better than like goat cheese with this recipe. Okay, now you want to get thin slices on the onion. The thinner the better. And what we're actually going to do is cook these onions down and get their caramelized flavor, their sweet flavor that the onions get when you cook them down. They lose that acidic property, and they pick up a nice sweet texture. Uh, and that's exactly what's going to go on with, these, with the goat cheese, the mixture of the onions and the goat cheese. And we're going to take a spider. This is a handy-dandy tool if you don't want to stick your fingers in there or uh, never take a fork because you'll just pierce the tomatoes. And what we're going to do is throw them into that cold water that we spoke about and we're going to let them rest because what we want to do is take off the skin. The only way to take off that skin uh, is basically kind of let them cool down. 
And we're just going to leave them over there. And you can start to see the bottoms peeling off and stuff like that. And I'll show you what the next move is. We're going to take all these onions, put them into the pan. I love this dish. This is like an incredible dish. And don't be scared to put a, even more extra virgin olive oil in there if you need to. But this is really, it has to cook down and it's going to take a little while to do. While that's happening, we're going to take our tomatoes. And what you're going to do is very gently take your tomatoes. And you can see that you're taking off the skin. And that's what you're left up, that's what you're left with. Take our other tomatoes now. Just take the skin off very gently. And there you go. You try to retain the shape. It's not going to be easy the first time you do it. And you probably don't need all of these. But do about six. Next what we're going to do is throw a little bit of this orange peel that we have here, which is going to now give us a citrus texture. It's actually going to marry itself with all of these onions and actually cook down really nice. As you can see, we started to cook down these onions. They're starting to get caramelized. Again, we still got a ways to go because with this particular dish, uh, it really must be cooked down good. And what we're going to do is take our avocado and we're going to just dice little chunks of the avocado that we're going to mix in with the in with the tomato salad as well. Now, if you don't know how to cut an avocado, let me just give you a quick lesson. Cut around to the sides, move it over like this, and you have this annoying pit in the center. It comes right out. We're just going to take some big chunks of our avocado. And you don't want to add too much to this because what happens is if you add too, much, too many ingredients, you don't get the proper... Uh, taste of, of, of the tomatoes. Sp spoon it out. You want to try to keep the avocado diced. The best way to dice the avocado and kind of just leave it without getting mushy is do it the way I did it. Cut it in the husk here and then take a spoon and just peel it out and you'll get these nice shapes of avocado. All right, so now our onions are just about where we want them. They're caramelized, they're cooking down, they're soft, and they've picked up the sweet flavor. We've cooked that down and that looks good. We'll get ourselves a plate. Now what we're going to do is take some of the pasta that we have and we're going to put a little bit of pasta in there. Not much. want a little bit of a starch. You'll taste it when, when you know what I'm talking about because having the onions and the goat cheese alone isn't good enough. You have, to, you have to have a little starch in there. Now once you add the goat cheese, you immediately take the pan off the fire. Now what you do is very gently mix up the goat cheese and the onions and the pasta. Make sure that it's evenly distributed. Okay, now take a little bit of our tongs. We're going to find just a small piece and put it into the center. Onions and goat cheese are, are, are a marriage made in heaven. That, that's number one. Number two, now when you add the starch in there, what you're going to end up doing is making a little nestled bed for the tomatoes to sit into. Now what we're going to do with the tomatoes here is we're going to grab a little bit of chili oil that we have, put them around, and we don't put the flour of the salt on there yet. We're going to toss the tomatoes around that are nice and cool, then we're going to put them in the center. This is good stuff now. Take a little bit of your chili oil. Just put it over the center of the dish. A little color. Now you want to take a little bit of edible greens that we have here. And what you want to do is just put it, put it on the sides of the plate. Two, without being overkill. Push it in. You want everything kind of nice, tight in the center. And next you want to take a little bit of avocados. And when I mean little, I mean like three. You know, keep the balance of flavors are important with this, folks. You know, you don't want to overpower uh, the dish. But the avocados seem to balance out the acid uh, in the actual cheese itself. You can put one here. Okay, now we're going to add the flour de sal like we said we were going to. These are flour de sal flakes, and you just put it over the tomato. So here you have it, our tomato timbal. On to our next recipe, which would be root.